Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to scroll a web page in Robot Framework Test Automation. When testing web pages, in some cases we need to scroll pages to display the element that needs to be tested. For example, in a banking application, when a user signs up on the site, the user needs to read the user agreement. In most websites, user needs to scroll down to the page to finish reading the user agreement. And also in some web pages, if the content does not fit in a window or within an iframe, the user needs to scroll the content to display the element. So in web test automation, scrolling web page or content is very important. In robot framework test automation, we can effectively use JavaScript to scroll a web page. Let's look at the W3 school website to find out how we can use window.scroll2 function to scroll a web page. Let's see the example on the side. Scroll the document to the horizontal position 500. We can use window.scroll2. And first is the horizontal position. Second one is the vertical position. By using this JavaScript, we can scroll the web page to a, a designated location. Let's use the Mahara website as an example. In this site, when we open the site, we have some content hidden on the page. In order to display the content, we need to scroll vertically to display the footer of the website. For example, terms and conditions, privacy statement, about and contact us. So in order to test the elements, we need to scroll the pages vertically to display the element. Now let's look at the implementation. We created a suite, robot example suite, and added a test case scroll page. And we have created a keyword scroll page to location. This keyword carries two arguments, the X location and Y location. Please remember that when we design a custom keyword, when the keyword uses some arguments, we need to separate them by the pipeline. And we use existing keyword execute JavaScript window dot scroll to X location and Y location. So we can use the custom keyword in the test case. Now let's look at the scroll page test case. We click on scroll page. So we open browser, http demo.mahara.org. We open the browser with Firefox. And second one is maximize browser window. And third one is we use the get window size. Get window size keyword returns width and the height of the window. So first variable is the width, 
Second variable is the height. So we can log the width of the window and height of the window. Here we slip for 15 seconds. Let's put it uh, 10 seconds. So we give users enough time to review the original status of the web page. Here we use the for loop. In this example, I'm going to demonstrate scroll up and scroll down. Using for loop, for index in range 1 to 1000, step is 100. So the 100 is the increment in the loop. Scroll page to location, 0, that is the x location. The index is uh, y moment. So let's say in the first iteration, it will move by 1 and then 100 increment. And log current location. We log the current location of the window. We slip 2 seconds. Next one is scroll page to location, 0, minus. Please remember that when index is positive, it will move to down vertically or move down vertically. When we apply minus, then it will move up. So this test case, we will move the browser up and down. Basically, the scroll bar will move up and move down. Now let's execute the test case and see the result. In this project, we have multiple test suits and test tests. So in order to run only this test case, I have added a tag, name it test. So in the run command, I can only run test this with the tags test. So this IDE will run only the scroll page test case. Now let's click on start. Unsaved modifications. Let's click on yes. Now let's observe the scroll bar on the right. So if you look at the scroll bar, now the uh, scroll bar is moving up and moving down vertically. Because in the for loop, we scroll down and then we scroll up by using the minus value. So as explained in this script, we can use the JavaScript window dot scroll to to scroll up and down the web page. You can also use this technique for iframe or for any other content that needs to be scrolled up and scrolled down. Now let's observe the result. The test is completed and the test passed. Now let's look at the log file. Click on the log. So in this log we have robot example suite. Expand this. And scroll page test. Now let's look at the keyword. So open browser, HTTP demo.mahara.org with Firefox. This is good. 
and second one is maximize browser window and third one is keyword width and height equal to get window size get window size keyword is defined under selenium 2 library so make sure that in your project you need to import selenium 2 library at the project level or on the test suite level by using get window size we obtained window width and window height and by using the keyword log we log it the width and the height we slip 10 seconds and after 10 seconds we have the for loop now let's look at the for loop because the range is from 1 to 1000 and step is 100 so first iteration is 1 second is 101 third is 201 the last one is 901 if we add 100 it will exceed the range so this loop is executed until the index reaches 901 now let's look at 101 so scroll page to location x 0 to index because it executes the keyword window to scroll x y location and this keyword is 0 to 101 and log the current uh, location 0 to 101 select 2 seconds after 2 seconds we execute scroll page to location this time we have added minus so it will scroll up we expand the keyword and it scroll up 0 to minus 101 and slip 2 seconds so this for loop executes until the index is 901 let's look at the, the last one in the 901 the current location is 0901 and the second scroll page to location 0 minus index this executes 0 to minus 901 so as explained in this test you can use javascript window dot scroll to to move window up and down vertically left or right horizontally the syntax is execute javascript this is a keyword and this is the actual function and we defined a keyword with two arguments x location y location and in the actual test case scroll page we used the scroll page to location with two arguments the second one is y argument and first one is the x argument in this example i explained how to use robot framework to scroll web page vertically and horizontally for the written example please visit www.seleniummaster.com thanks for watching